With every story, you need relationships and their dynamics. One of the primary relationships I love is the power trio. We'll see how two separate trios interact using My Hero Academia's Bakugo, Midoriya, and Todoroki. The first example revolves around Sigmund Freud's theory stating personality is composed of three elements, known as the id, the ego, and the superego. Mixed with the common character types, Ultimately, we'll see where Bakugo, Todoroki, and Midoriya fit among these three elements. The id represents the emotional or instinctual side of someone. This aspect of personality is entirely unconscious and includes reflexive and primitive behaviors. The element and its characters tend to be disruptive and socially unacceptable. They are a force of personality. But the superego is constrained by rules and social conventions. They are the internalized standards and ideals that are acquired from parents and society. They are often held back by standards or behavior that could lead them to feeling guilty or remorseful to the point of being broken. The id and the superego make for an exciting odd couple. Their frictions seen between many protagonists and rivals. Potential romantic partners also have this friction. In every other story, you'll find an emotional character fighting a reserved foil. But that's a duo. In adding a third character, you can expand on each dynamic. The third both highlights the extremes and shows the nuance of each extreme. That would be the ego, which balances the two. See, the ego deals with reality, balancing the former to character personalities impulsiveness or overly rigid nature. Also, any of these character types could be interchangeable in other groups. A trio's reckless and impulsive character may appear more reserved and reasonable when thrown into a different group, but the pattern follows that two extremes and one balances each other out, creating a circumstance of engaging stories. These aspects are ever-shifting and constantly interacting to influence one another. So first, you have a passionate character the id. With Bakugo, you have someone who is actually intelligent. We have cases of him planning, but his outburst overshadows his complexity. Katsuki is rage and anger personified. As the character reflecting the principles of the id, he is the brashest of the three. He's the most easily affected by emotions and most eager to fight. Three common traits found in these characters. Emotion and reason can hardly coexist. The emotional Bakugo can often feel as if he's cast reasoning aside. Id characters are more human and passionate, often the most primal, instinctual, or childlike of the three. That passion can lead them to stray from the goal. They wear their hearts on their sleeves, whether for good, through anger, or sentimentality, which often clashes with the more sensible and reserved of the trio. This character, the super ego, has a tendency to think before they act. They're characterized by their strong, calm and emotionally distant composure. While id is more known for outbursts, the superego is a ticking atomic bomb. They're primarily human after all, and will often have their soft spots or limits. Within the group, the superego will seek solutions with a balanced and well thought out approach. A voiceover or outside explanation is often needed to explore their motivation. Without that POV, their actions may come off as cold or insensitive. Think about the voiceovers from My Hero Academia. Of course, we get Midoriya. We also have gone through the minds of Shoto and other characters. Understanding Todoroki Rogi's thoughts gives a look past his detached persona. It is necessary to hear these characters' mental states, which calls back to Katsuki in his inner voice. He's a brute whose actions are always in question. We see him act without understanding or reasoning. If characters like Katsuki do have reasons, they won't be apparent initially and save for later character development. But characters like Todoroki, the super ego characters, they need a reason for their action, which ignites an internal clash with the more passionate, energetic, and wild it. Now, when you add the third character into this dynamic, you get the best and worst of both worlds. This character balances out and mixes reasoning with emotions. They are calm and collected with passionate outbursts. The ego balances the opposing personalities of the group and makes sure they resolve the task at hand. I feel Midoriya best fits this role, but he doesn't always embody this role among the trio. Todoroki has played a mediator role for Bakugo and Midoriya as well, but Midoriya 
always shows the qualities of the ego more often. The ego type is often the leader as they bridge the gap between the emotional and the reserve. They often try to calm and rein in the id and rationalize with the superego. The trio's most calibrated member tends to let themselves be fueled by logic and emotions. Midori shows forethought by constantly studying others and tactics. He must be reserved in how and when to act, especially based on his quirk but does let his feelings push him to act out of pure impulse. He's neither aggressive nor aloof, but even-tempered, which allows him to rise towards the leadership role against the other two. But in other stories where the even-tempered member isn't the leader, you'll find the id character to be the team's emotional, feisty heart. There are rare cases of the superego actually leading a team, but they're usually the master strategist or team organizer. That's the makeup of these personalities. There's a second dynamic that focuses on the perception of others from the outside. You'll find a character who is kind, a character who is mean, and the last one balancing out the first two. Midoriya, of course, is the nicest, friendliest, and helpful of the three. He treats everyone with kindness and respect before he even gains control of one for all. His main power was hurting himself to save others. The kind character tends to try to make peace with the other two who is in between and the mean one. The mean character is often rude, abrasive, and unapproachable. Mean characters are usually the wild animals of the group that the others must get along with. They're often the bullies or may even turn out to be jerks with a golden heart, but the jerk will always be their primary attribute or trait. The aggressive character's destructive and darker approach conflicts with the other two characters. The more in-between character, the nuanced character, balances out being approachable and unapproachable. They may not have bad manners like the jerk, but they are as welcoming as the kind character. These characters are generally distant, indifferent, or aloof before opening up to a select few. This trio's combination allows for different stories created based on their personalities. There will usually be a story where the kind person's generosity will benefit the team, while the jerk may be distrustful to a new ally and proven correct. While the mild manner personality tends to choose a more nuanced approach than the other two, that's only one of many possible combinations and templates found within trios. If you have any that come to mind or would like to switch up the order I have them here, let me know in the comment section. Also, check the community tab for a poll for upcoming videos. See ya!